everyone, Shross here, and today I would like to talk about my new PC build that will be happening very soon in the future. Now, this is a £1,300 PC build, so this is going to take me at least 13 weeks just to save up the money for this. Now, the PC that I use right now for my recording, all my gameplay that I use on my YouTube channel, uh, the specs on this PC is, is it is a 2TB hard drive, there is no solid state drives in there. Um, uh, it's a 16 gig gigabytes of RAM. It's a MSI motherboard. Um, the the graphics card on this it's it's well this PC is a, over a year old, so the graphics card has never been changed in this PC. Um, the graphics card is a GeForce GTX 760, I think it is. Now, guys, let's move on to my PC build now guys, don't hesitate to comment down below if there's anything I could improve or need to change on this build anyway, let's get into the build now, first on the list is obviously the power supply, now I've picked this power supply, this power supply is a Corsair HX 1200 watt, now you're probably wondering why I'm picking such a high, like a high end power supply now. The reason why is so as I can improve my graphics card if I want to change, I can even change it to a Titan if I really wanted to save it up. I could actually, it's possible that I could do that, but the reason why is better off having more than less watts on your computer and that gives you more watts to even upgrade it as I already said. Anyway guys, it is at £200 right now, so it's roughly £200, £230. Anyway guys, moving on to the next part of the PC. So for the motherboard guys, I've picked the Gigabyte Z9X SLI. Now this, this motherboard uh, supports the LG1150, so I could get an i5, get an i7. Um, processor, it has 4 slots for RAM, no, I could even put 32 gigs of RAM on it, but <laughs> there's no need for that. Now this this motherboard that comes to 116 pound, which is a reasonable price. It has good, it will have good performance, and it's a decent size too, guys. Now moving on to the next one. Now next up, what I'm picked is the Seagate three terabyte hard drive. Now it's the Seagate Barracuda hard drive, and now it runs it. 7200 RPM, it's 64 megabytes catch. Now, this is a really good hard drive for the price. The price is 74 pounds, so yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, yeah, you will you will get good performance out of it. Anyway, guys, moving on to the next subject. As well as the hard drive, now I would like to get a solid state drive in this PC build. So, the one I've picked is the Samsung 250 gig 850 Evo. Now, this is, honestly guys, the price on these solid state drives used to be really high. I'm really surprised now that they've come down in price. Now, this cost at £65, which is really good for solid state hard drives. You get really good performance out of them for playing your games and for its rendering and stuff. But anyway guys, moving on. Now, for RAM, I have picked the HyperX 6 GB, 1600 MHz. Now, this RAM should work at high performance as well. Now, the price is £64. Now, I was thinking about upgrading it to 32 gig, but if you think about it, guys, do you really need to use... Do you, need, do you actually use 32 gig? Do you use 32 gig of RAM all at one time? For me, I'm not going to use 32 gig of RAM, so 16 is more than enough for me. Anyway, guys, moving on to the next thing. Okay, for the processor, I've picked Intel Core i7 4770 quad core CPU. Now, it's 1150 socket, so it'll be compatible with the Gigabyte motherboard that I've picked. Now, the price range is 250, so 59, 260 pounds, let's just say. Now, why I'm picking this processor that with an i5, it takes ages to process on my, like, Processing other videos, exporting. It takes a ton, it just takes forever. I've picked this because I know it'll be a little bit faster and it's one of the best 
processors you can get out there in the market right now. So anyway, moving on to the next subject. Now guys, for CPU cooling I have picked the Coolmaster Hyper 212 Evo Ultra High Performance for Direct Contact Heater Pipes. Now this is a universal CPU cooler so it should do in this PC build. Now you're probably wondering why I've not picked water cooling. Water cooling is really good for your PC but it's really expensive and I don't see the point spending all that money for water cooling when I don't need it. I will upgrade to water cooling some, at some point in the future now but it, the price range of this cooler here is at £27 which is a great price for a CPU cooler and it has some good performance and good reviews on it. Now moving on to the next subject. Ok guys for the graphics card I have chosen the Sapphire Radiant Nitro 8GB graphics card. Now this is a really good graphics card but the price it comes at a massive £485 which is <laughs> a lot for a graphics card. For me, in my opinion, this is what I've chosen. I really like it, I really like the specs. Um, now, it's got one HDMI port that so it supports 3D, it can support 3 displays, and it has one Diva ID. So, how, how can you can't complain about that? Now, moving on to the next subject. Okay, guys, now for the fans, I've picked the Corsa L Series SP120. High pressure fan dual pack. Now this comes to £22 which is a great price for these fans. I've heard so many good reviews about it. Now the the PC itself the, um, it does come with fans but I'm going to replace them with these fans which will perform better. Hey anyway, guys, we're almost at the end of the video now. I know this has been long for you guys. It's been hard for me. This is my very first video making this. Anyway, moving on to the next and last thing. Okay, guys, for the keys, I've picked the Coolmaster RC430, KWN6, Elite 430, USB 3.0, Windows side panel, mid tower case. That was a lot to say there. Now, you can get it in black and red, you can get it in other colours. Now, I'm not really, I don't really like the look of this case, but the cooling of this PC is really good. Now, I've picked this now, but I might change it in further. I'm, I'm still looking for a good case, but this is what I've picked for now. Anyway, guys, we've finally reached the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this. this. It felt, for me, for seven minutes long, it felt a lot longer than this. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and see you in the next one. See you.